Hi everyone, this is Nikki Jameson. I'm a digital artist and today we are in Rebel 6 Pro and I'm going to show you how to create a stencil. You can create a stencil from many ways using Rebel. So I am going to show you how to create a stencil in this video, how to create a stencil from using an image file. So I'll just show you the one that I've done already and as with most things in these painting tools trial and error is really the best way to find out how to to do this so my canvas is a a, a gesso canvas it's a fairly rough canvas and this is a sketch I did uh, previously that I imported into Rebel of Westminster Bridge and um, Big Ben or rather the Elizabeth Town Westminster Westminster Palace so I'm going to close that for a, a minute. You can open the stencils fly out in a couple of ways in Rebel. You can go to window uh, and click on stencils and it will open the stencils fly out or you can press F10. If you already have your, your stencils fly out open and you press F10, you will, you will close it, make it disappear and you press F10 again, it will reappear. So there are a few, like I said, there are a few ways to uh, create your own stencils and add to your stencil library and you, as you can see I have got some stencils in my stencil library uh, I have created for example this shape that I have drawn I'll show you that perhaps in another video so as not to confuse things I'll just uh, backspace to remove it okay so we'll backspace out of that but what I want to show you today is how to you may have an existing image or an existing uh, shape that you want to to use as a stencil such as my Westminster Bridge picture. So I have imported this, um, I haven't, I've got it on normal I think, actually I've got it on multiply so I'm going to put it back on normal. So I have imported this sketch that I have off Westminster Bridge okay and if I want to, I've actually already turned it into a stencil so let me just um, close that, see if I can do this again and do file um, import image because I've imported it before I'm going to go to home and it should be here and it is a JPEG image okay so that's what it looked like initially all right so I'm going to say okay and it's going to put it at the top of my layer stack so now I have my sketch which is a JPEG file and I want to turn this into a stencil so what i do is i go to stencils create stencil from layer and choose alpha actually no again control z i don't want the bar i don't want the bar around it because um i think it's a bit distracting so i'm going to do create stencil from layer and do image okay um, and so this will give me my this will give me my stencil now if I go on a new layer here if I go back to my sketch layer okay uh, it's put the stencil in the image in the stencil library so to get rid of the background I will set this image on multiply and when it's on multiply you will see that the um, the the background will disappear and then you could you've got you've got a couple of options okay you can go on a new layer above it and you can paint very carefully into the sketch this will be like painting into a sketch so you have to be really careful with this because this this can actually go outside it you don't have the uh, you don't have the stencil showing there at the moment okay so we'll close that top layer if you, if I add a new layer, oops, I want to close this. If I add a new layer and pick that as a stencil, go to the stencil library, pick that as a stencil, then I can paint into the layer and I don't have to worry about painting outside it. It really depends on the file you are using. And as I say, some stencils work better than others 
Okay, so Westminster Bridge is green, I know that. So that will allow me to go into the bridge, paint this. I'm actually painting over my sketch. So if you're using this method and you want to use it, it is a really good way of uh, not so much blocking in, but to start a painting if you already have a generated sketch. Actually, I want this to be fairly dark, don't I? Okay, just being very, very general with this. You'll only be able to paint in the white areas. If you use like a PNG, the areas will be dark as opposed to white because this is a JPEG and it's set to a blend mode. You get a very uh, different output. So you have to uh, look at your images and find out which of the images work, work best for you because not all images um, they don't all work in the same way but th it, this allows you to get into some detail if you wish so right now I'm still painting on the stencil I'm not doing this from a reference so I'm actually doing this from memory so it might not be um, but this is a good way to do some actual complicated uh, um, paintings or at least to start them off. Okay, so now if I want to, um, I make that smaller and do backspace. Oops, this does not always work. But do stencil and do remove. There you can see the uh, stencil outline that I have created. And obviously it will need more work. So I used a bit of trial and error there because when I'm using the PNG, I can go to stencil, create stencil from layer, and that's when the layer has got alpha transparency. If you're using a JPEG image, you have to do a few more things. Um, this is on normal at the moment uh, because it's just the painting. You can also set it to multiply and you can see more of the definition. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I'll Maybe I'll try and do another video with just this particular method because it is different whether you use a JPEG, depending on whether you use a JPEG or whether you use a PNG. Thanks for watching and perhaps I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye.